It was that ark that served as the presence of God. I want you to know that God is not bound by time. He is not bound by space. But he bound himself, Brian, to this little box called the Ark of the Covenant. He bound himself to his people through this ark. And the fact that the ark was the place of the Lord's presence among his people brought them great assurance. And it gave the people of God, it gave them, it gave them confidence. It gave them peace to know that wherever that ark was, that the presence of God was with them as well. Amen. Amen. There was a time when the Philistines defeated the children of Israel and the ark of God was stolen. And, but, but, but you'll find out if you read about it, it didn't really work out very good for the Philistines. It didn't work out very good for the enemy because when they stole the ark of God, they experienced God's wrath. And when they stole the ark of God, which was supposed to be the presence of God, they found out when it wasn't in its rightful place, they started to get sick and a lot of them started to die. I want to tell Thank you Lord. something today. The enemy don't want to be around the presence of God. The enemy can't stand the presence of God. So what they did, Sister Mary Jo, they said, we've got to do something about this. We can't stand this any longer. They had it for seven months, Sue, but they soon found out that wherever the presence of God was, Something was going to happen, whether it was good or whether it was bad. And in this case, it was bad. So they took, they didn't wait on the children of Israel to come back and take the ark back. They said, we got to get rid of this, and they took it back themselves. Amen. That wherever the presence of God is, the enemy won't stay there. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You didn't hear me. I said, wherever the presence of God is... The enemy will not be there. So if you really want the enemy to leave, you have got to find a way to usher the presence of God into where you're at. And the best way to do that is to praise Him. The best way to do that is to open your mouth. The best way to do that is to lift up your voice. Because when you lift up your voice in praise, when you open your mouth and you begin to give praise to God, the enemy will not Thank stay you. around that. Amen. The enemy will leave you. Yes, the enemy will go on. And the enemy will flee. Hallelujah. Somebody give it praise this Amen. But when you praise God, God will show up. If you ever want God to show up, all you got to do is praise Him. Thank if you God. ever want the devil to show up, all you got to do is sit there. That's right. Amen. So the David said, I'm going to take the ark back to where it belongs. I'm going to, my God, I'm going to take the presence of God. Listen to me this morning. I'm going to take the presence of God back to where it belongs. I'm going to tell you, the people of God would have a whole lot easier time today if they would just learn that they got to get the presence of God back where it belongs. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He did more than just rejoice. The Bible said that David danced with all his the Holy Ghost. The Bible said that David danced with all his might before the Lord. In other words, David got down. Amen. Amen. You can go all the way through the Bible and start in Genesis. You'll find several places where you see the people of God danced before Him and they rejoiced before Him. I'm going to tell you something. God had to dance long before the devil did. Right. Amen. I said God had to dance Amen. long before the devil did. And listen, if more people would learn how to get their pride out of the way and just rejoice in God and just be happy in the Lord for a little while, you may find that God may come into your situation and He may turn some things around. Thank you. Let me tell you something. You got one of two choices this morning. You can either either live a defeated life or you can live a victorious life. Yes. It's just right. Amen. Amen. I have decided to live a victorious life. Amen. I have decided that no matter what ever Thank comes my way, I'm going to praise God anyway. Thank I'm going to shout anyway. I'm going to dance anyway. 
I don't I care know. what comes. I don't care what goes. I God am. is God. God won't ever change. He'll always be the same. Yes, it doesn't matter if I feel like it or I, I don't love. feel like it. It doesn't matter if you feel like it or you don't feel like it. It don't change who God is. And He deserves all the honor and the glory and the praise yes, for it all. God stepped in and He put me back on the right path. He picked me up. He established my goings. I mean, so when you see me shouting, baby, just get out of my way. Because I got Lord. something I mean, to shout about. Thank you, Lord. That's right. And everyone, every one of you in here this morning has got something God's delivered you from. That's every right. one of you in here this morning has got a reason to shout. Every one of you this morning has got a reason to lift up your voice. Why ain't you doing it? Why ain't you praising him? Why ain't you shouting? Why ain't you doing something about it? Because I'm going to tell you, God will move when you will. That's right. I'm going to tell you what God is looking for this morning is somebody who will put themselves out of the way, who will push their problems aside, who will push people aside and say, I'm pushing myself aside and I'm going to stand up. I'm going to shout. I'm going to open my mouth. I'm going to give God some praise. I'm going to lift my voice. I'm going to do whatever I got to do run the enemy off and to put him on the road. I wish somebody would shout with me. Thank I wish God. somebody would stand up. I wish somebody would let the devil be there punching me this morning. Somebody.